Welcome back. We're going to take a quick look at Uniswap. So for Uniswap at number 18, yeah, BDC was the pair that we have been looking at in earnest. Uni USDT, not so clear, but Uni BDC is much clearer, right? Uh, since the beginning, uh, which is September 21, since my return, uh, yeah, Uniswap has been moving sideways. We were wondering if this was a wave two, right? And eventually, boom, we broke out of the falling channel. Uh, and after we broke off the falling channel, we were hoping that uh, you know some sideways action here would be sweet. And you know what? We're getting sideways action, right? Falling channel breakout, sideways action. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It is sweet. Uh, I think potentially we could see Uniswap BDC hit higher. Very few coins uh, that uh, is actually in a bullish trend while everybody is down and. Uh, Uni is one of it. The other one is actually Matik. Matik is one of those that is still bullish, even though everybody is uh, bearish. Uh, and Uniswap is also another outlier, which is bullish when things are bearish. So if anything, we would anticipate uh, a potential wave three, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I think a breakout is kind of in the cuts, in my opinion. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, I mean, of course, things can always go wrong, right? We fall mountain ranges and we break back down under the skinny pink line. You see that? Absolutely possible. But yeah, until that happens, we are of the opinion that uh, more likely than not, Uniswap could be heading higher. We could be breaking something, something like a, like an inverse head and shoulders, right? Do you see it? Here, something like a left shoulder, something like a head, right shoulder. Not exactly high quality, but still an inverse head and shoulders. Nevertheless, so a breakout would be a wave three. And uh, we would love to, to take a trade for uni BTC, but uh, yeah, we still need to see the chart pattern form first. Uh, we don't always get high quality tradable chart patterns, even for uni BTC while it dropped. Uh, there was no clear high quality tradable chart pattern. Uh, yes, we are aware that there was a mountain range over here, but uh, all along the way, yeah, it was not tradable. We could also be, <laughs> I mean, rising over here for uni BTC, BTC and it could also be untradeable right we are above the skinny pink line if it's staying above the skinny pink line and if we continue a rally the skinny pink line is going to start curving up and this could be the start of the uptrend right the confirmation of an uptrend i think uh, yeah i, I feel good about uh, uniswap to be honest uni against usdt uh, we're still under the skinny pink line so we're still largely bearish for uni against usdt i wish i could tell you that things are turning bullish but i still need confirmation uh yeah we could get something like a squeeze over here a b c d e maybe then we break the skinny pink line for real for good uh, and both the usdt and the bdc pair stays above the skinny pink line and this would signify the continuation of a bullish trend right the trend is reversing if we could break the skinny pink line so until it breaks Huh. We have to be very careful because we could still fall mountain ranges and we could still hit lower. I don't think so. I think more likely than not uh, the direction is up, but we want to get the timing right uh, because things can still go wrong here, right? Uh, this could be not go wrong, but uh, we might still see another dip, right? This is a wave A. We go for a B. This could be a right A B C kind of a wave C. You see that there could still be another wave down. For uni USDT, mm, but but uh, the chart pattern would still hold, right? I think the symmetrical triangle would still hold, even if we see a deep fall, uh, uni USDT. So yeah, it's, again we have to be patient and we have to wait wait for a higher quality tradable chart pattern for uni swap first before making any moves. So we'll be very very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for uni swap. Uh, yeah, I mean of course we might not get the C and we might just. You know, we might, we, might, we might not see the dip. We might just start uh, consolidating here and then pump. That's it. So patience and we got to give the wheels time to do their thing. All right. Uh, I guess that's it for my Uniswap technical analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Ta-da.